Well, thank you for joining us. And today we're going to be praying about gospel freedom. Plans for a new law on conversion therapy pose a particular risk to gospel freedom. Now, the activists say that legislation is needed to prevent abuse against LGBT people. And of course, as Christians, we love our neighbours. We don't want anybody to be abused. But of course, everybody is already protected in law from abuse. Sadly, what's actually happening is that under the guise of wanting to protect people from abuse, some of the activists really want a law which actually just limits the ordinary work of churches. Some of these campaigners have said explicitly that, that gentle, non-coercive prayer should be caught in the ban. That's the phrase they used. They want casual conversations to be caught in the ban. Some of them have even used the term repentance and said that too should be targeted under this conversion therapy ban. So what's at stake here is the freedom for all of us to talk freely about sin and forgiveness with our gay and trans friends. Our society does appear to be increasingly hostile to Christianity, but we can be thankful that we do have plenty of good laws on free speech. We have lots of freedom to speak out in the public square. I think one of the great challenges to us is to use the freedoms that we have more to speak out with courage and with wisdom. It's vital then that these freedoms are understood and upheld by politicians and civil servants, by police and the courts. And that's why we are working every day on your behalf to uh, represent your concerns about these things. And our legal team, of course, they're working with Christians every day to help protect Christian freedoms. That's not just the big cases like Asher's Baking Company that you see in the media. It's overwhelmingly it's the everyday behind the scenes confidential help for, for, for faithful believers who are taking a stand. We also do want to extend our thanks to you as Christian Institute supporters for speaking out with us on these vital issues. Well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gospel. We thank you that it is what has saved us. This glorious news about the finished work of Christ on behalf of us sinners. And we pray for gospel freedom. We think of the scripture where we're encouraged to pray that the gospel would speed ahead and be honoured. That's what we want to see in our land today. And so we pray for laws to protect our freedoms. And we pray against laws that would take away this basic freedom to share the glorious good news of Christ with all people. We pray for the police and the courts to recognise and respect these freedoms. We pray for politicians and civil servants to recognise and protect these freedoms. And we ask for ourselves as your believing people that you would give us the grace, the courage, the wisdom to know how and when to speak out. And we pray that you be pleased to use us to do good to all, but especially to those of the household of faith, and to bring you glory. And we ask it in the Saviour's name. Amen.